the Tago joins Volkswagen's vast offering of SUVs, offering a unique coupe styled rear end, as its USB and slotting in just above the T-Cross model, in both size and pricing. The basic design is rather similar, sharing much with both the smaller SUV and the one size of T-Rock. Think of the Tago as the nearly identical twin, with the cooler haircut. You get the same face as the Polo hatchback, alongside some additional trim pieces, to make it more aggressive and crossover-like, while there's now light bar connecting the headlights, like most newer VW models. It's got a sleek side profile, ending with a small spoiler on the roof line. You also get some SUV style, cladding around the wheel arches and additional detailing around the back. Tago is also written out under the number plate and rear light bar, and the roof bars add to its SUV feel. It doesn't have the most exciting cabin, but you're able to get a 10.0-inch touchscreen, alongside a digital instrument display, the latter of which comes as standard. You also get climate controls, with proper easy-to-use dials right out of the box, but higher-spec models get the annoying sliding touch bar setup, introduced in the latest Golf. Still, there's decent space up front and visibility is okay, even if the rear window is a bit small. That said, adult passengers will find the second row a bit tight for space. The roof slopes slightly so taller people will struggle to get completely comfortable, while legroom is also a bit limited. Under the hood, you get a choice of two engines, both of which are petrol. The 1.0-liter three-cylinder comes with two power options, 95 horsepower or 110 horsepower, while the four-cylinder 1.5-liter is only offered with 150 horsepower. You can have manual or automatic transmissions across the lineup, apart from the top-end power option that can only be had with a 7-speed, dual-clutch automatic transmission.